How much per kilo One for One time excess for your bag? mind, y'all. Yes, sure, huh. do not stop, y'all. We live and we'll die, y'all. To the west. I live on the road. I'm out in the road. Hold on, train to eat. Quick and expect a low blow. Get what you can from a drive. Hole in the land of the lost cowboys in the sand. And my soul is this is Marty Tank from the Airborne Flight Crew. I'm just taking a rest day today, so I wanted to take a chance and show you some of the newest additions to the uh, collection. Uh, first, we'll start with some of the things that we got from Sea Otter and then some of the other things that we got. Right here, I've got my uh, new Yeti 575, which uh, is in the process of being built up. I wanted to show you some of the uh, some of the things that I'm using to build it up. These are True Precision Stealth Hubs. They're an instant engagement, silent free hub. So listen to this. What you don't hear is the True Precision Stealth Silent Free Hub, which is, I think, one of the coolest factors. I'm, I'm all about engagement. I love engagement. Instant engagement is perfect. And I've made it the Stealth Precision Hubs uh, to Stands flow rims in a power coated white with uh, the DT Swiss competition spokes and rounded out the wheel set with uh, some Kenda Excavator 2.35s that I've, uh, I'm going to be converted to, but they're not converted yet. They're still two right now, but they will be uh, converted to tubeless, which is my preference. I went with the Rock Shock Revelation Race with the 20 millimeter maxle on this ride, uh, 150 millimeters of travel. Big thanks to the guys over at Answer for a carbon fiber bar. I've also got some great things to, to upgrade the Airborne Taco when it gets here from Answer, including pedals, handlebar, um, gloves, and some other little goodies. Can't wait to get those. But I want to say a big thank you to the guys over at Transition Bikes for supplying me with a free ride all mountain setup uh, as far as the saddle. Uh, it comes very highly reviewed, highly recommended, but in the end I hope I'm not spending a whole lot of time on the saddle because if I am, I really don't have the right bike. This is my new Yeti 575 frame that I picked up from Jensen USA. And what they did with it was really something really interesting. They took a 2007 front triangle, uh, put the Fox DHX Air uh, shock on it, and put the 2009 carbon rear triangle on the bike. So it's technically a Yeti 575 carbon, uh, but it's kind of a mixed together with, uh, with Probably was some parts that they had laying around, but uh, still definitely some good quality parts. They use the updated linkages uh, for the for the rear triangle, so it's definitely got a lot of things going for it. I'm excited to get this bike out on the trail and see what it can do.